What's up guys, welcome to the third episode of the Pokemon Top 10s, although this episode is not going to be a Top 10, but rather a Top 7. Today I will be ranking the main series Pokemon Regions. This episode will mainly be focusing on what occurs in the regions during the main game, such as story and Pokemon introduced, and how much you get to actually see of the region. I'm only going to be focusing on the main games due to not having too much familiarity with regions from spin-off games, plus not really having as much time to really experience them. As always, make sure you comment your favorites, and let's get started. Starting at number 7, we have the Kalos region. When Pokemon X and Y came out, I was originally really excited for it. However, once I actually got the games, I wasn't very happy with what we got. The story in the overall game is actually rather bland and almost non-existent. The Pokemon introduced weren't exactly the best, and honestly, the starters weren't really appealing in any way. Team player had almost no passion for what their plan was, except for Lysander, who had a lot of potential, but it feels like they really fell short with his character. Having four rivals was a cool idea, but it feels like all of them have almost no development in any way, except for Shauna, and then at times it seems like Callum or Serena, depending on what gender you chose. If anything, X and Y are the two games that really need sequels to fix the mistakes and give a little bit more story to the games. At number 6 we have the Unova region. As I've said, Generation 5 was by far my least favorite generation, but unlike X and Y, Black, White, Black 2, and Y2 all have a very noticeable story to it. While the starters of Generation 5 are really bad, in my opinion, the story was still less boring than X and Y's lack of one. Team Plasma as an evil organization in both the originals and the sequels were executed very well, and the sequels definitely wrapped things up for the originals. While the starters failed to be the greatest, some of the Pokemon introduced in the games were actually really cool, such as Sandile, Blitzel, Darumaka, Lines, and etc. While these games feel like they can drag on forever, at the very least they have a story that can be entertaining and wraps itself up within the two games. At number 5 we have the Johto region. I know that there are a lot of people who are going to be looking at this video and thinking I'm crazy for having Johto as number 5 and not even in the top 3, but my reasoning all comes down to the game length. Generation 2 is one of the shortest games when it comes to actual main game. By the time you finish the Johto region in the games, you're only in around the early 40s in leveling. You have very little time to explore the Johto region, so it kind of takes from the region in a whole. What mainly puts this in front of Unova and Kalos is the fact that it's basically a sequel to Gen 1 done with a whole new region and an even amazing story. The idea of having to fight the trainer you once controlled was a great idea and was executed amazingly and added to the entertainment. Using Team Rocket as a form of destroyed organization that's trying to come back to what they used to be was amazing and it made the story a little better but if they had put a little more time into actually exploring the Jota region, this game would have been a lot better and the Jota region in the whole would have probably been in my at least top three. Coming in at number four, we have the Alola region. The Alola region has a great new take on the Pokemon world with the Island Trials as well as the idea of being the building blocks to creating the Pokemon League. The introduction of Gen 7 Pokemon were all amazing and the starters were awesome. Alolan forms are also a very nice and clever idea made for the Alola region, which made it even more unique. Team School was a nice change of the evil organizations, and I love the idea of them becoming some form of a pawn for the Aether Foundation to be able to get under the radar and be able to do what they wanted. Pretty much everything with the Alola region was well done, well thought out, and added to how great it was. The story was amazing, the Pokemon were amazing, and the trainers and everyone introduced, all the characters were awesome. Coming in at number 3 we have the Kanto region. Kanto was the first region to ever exist in the Pokemon world, and it was the first region I ever played and set me on the path of loving Pokemon. As most channel owners would say, the original 151 were what set Pokemon onto its successful path that they are currently on now, and it can be agreed that they were actually very cool, despite not being the most creative. It's the idea of the original 151 that make them so amazing, not the creativity that was put into them. And it's also the creativity of the story that makes the game so awesome. Team Rocket was an amazing evil organization. They were a big threat. They were actually quite threatening compared to most. Not all of them felt that threatening, and they were the first to do it. They were amazing. Giovanni was very clever. He was a very clever leader, and he was actually a very sneaky one at that. He did everything under the nose of everyone else. He even was a gym leader while also holding an evil organization and having a hideout 
and doing all of these things, all these bad things, but still seen as a gym leader. So it was an it was an amazing experience. The addition of the Sevi Islands even made it even better. It made it awesome, and it made the story even better. These games began the Pokemon franchise, and that's why they belong in the top three of this list. Coming down to number two, we have the Hoenn region. The second region I played, the Hoenn region, was one of the very first regions that I ever played, and was a very awesome idea for one at that, with the reliability of surfing around to get anywhere after getting HMO3. With the only real downside being that when it comes to Nuzlocke, most of your Pokemon are going to end up being water types. The idea of the entire region that requires surfing from one place to another seemed really cool, and I liked the thought of a coastal region prior to the Alola region coming into play. Team Magma and Team Aqua were, were both awesome evil teams, and the story of the games were amazing, especially how they played off of having two organizations and their intense switching depending on what game you play, as well as the fact that all the starters are absolutely amazing and it's almost impossible to even pick a favorite. Besides, who doesn't love the amount of trumpets in this region? Coming in as my number one favorite region, Sinnoh. As explained in my last top 10, Sinnoh was, in my opinion, the best region due to the amount of Pokemon that were added and the creativity of the region. The region feels like it has it all and it all mixes and flows perfectly. Team Galactic was a great evil team and the admins were actual threats. Battling Mars at the Valley of Windworks was a major pain due to the fact that her, her Brugly was really overpowered at the time of when you would fight her and all of the admins in general, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, all of them, they were all threats, they all were actually something you needed to be afraid of. Cyrus was just as threatening and just as amazing. Even the final battle with Cynthia was awesome. The after game was amazing with three new areas to explore and being able to fight your rival every Saturday and I believe Sunday. I don't remember what, but either way, to be able to fight your rival over and over and over was amazing, even though it didn't really change. Plus the, the new opening of Pokemon you could get in the after game, as well as the legendaries that you were introduced after game. Overall, the Sinnoh region was by far the best Pokemon region there is. I hope you guys enjoyed this top 10. What are your guys' favorite regions? What is your number one favorite region? What is your least favorite region? Make sure you comment that down below. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.